Imagine what would happen if you didn't have enough information about what resources were needed to get project work done. You could wind up with too many people on a project putting it over budget. Or people on the team may find they don't have the equipment they need to get their tasks done, causing the project to fall behind schedule. When you're planning the schedule, you must determine what resources are needed to complete a project. In other words, the materials, people, equipment, and facilities required for each project activity. Another purpose of the process is to gather information needed to create a realistic schedule and ultimately a budget. In order to estimate the required project resources, a project manager needs to consider a few different things. The first is types of resources. A project manager needs to know all of the resources required for each project activity. This includes physical resources like computers and human resources such as graphic designers. The identified resources are the starting point for budgeting and scheduling. The project manager also needs to determine the quantity of each required resource. For example, how much concrete and how many construction workers are needed to build a foundation for a school building project. This information is important for scheduling and later for estimating costs. The manager needs to determine the skill sets that are required to perform each activity so appropriate human resources can be identified. The level of skill required will have an important impact on the budget. For example, if the project requires technical drawings to be compiled, does this require an architect or is it something that a technical draftsperson can do? Finally, the project manager needs to determine who will be filling the roles on the project team and if these people will be available when needed. Vacation times, leave schedules, other work obligations, and other projects are taken into consideration. This is critical for scheduling. Estimating activity resources is important because resources, whether people, materials, or both, are typically the largest expense you'll have on any project. Estimating the resources for project activities is usually coordinated with estimating costs for the budget. On one side of the coin, knowing what resources are required enables you to get a more precise estimate of what the project will cost so you can develop a realistic budget. However, on the other side of the coin, you need to make sure that the resources you identify are in line with what the project can afford. Usually a project starts out with a rough breakdown of the overall estimated costs. For a more accurate estimation, you need to investigate further and determine not only which resources the project needs, but also how much you need of each resource. For example, you need to know how many builders you need and the quantity of materials like bricks and cement for a building project. You can then estimate the costs of each of these resources and come up with a realistic and precise budget. Most projects work with a limited budget for an ideal set of resources. Because different resources have different price tags, you need to determine what resources your project can afford. For example, can the project afford an architect whose rate is $100 per hour, or will you have to go with the slightly less qualified architect who charges $75 per hour? Alternatively, you could schedule the more qualified architect for 60% of the required work and the less qualified architect for the remaining 40% of the work. In addition to providing information that will be used to create the project budget, activity resource estimates provide information needed to create a realistic project schedule. For example, if certain equipment or human resources are available only on particular dates, this will affect when you can schedule relevant activities. It's important to understand the difference between duration and effort when estimating resources. Effort is the amount of labor, or total number of billable hours, invested in an activity because of the resources involved. It is used when calculating costs. Duration is how long an activity is expected to take with the labor available. Here's an example. Unloading a truck may take 10 hours with one person carrying out the activity, and only 5 hours if two people are assigned to the activity. If the resources are increased by adding more labor, or people in this case, then the duration of the activity is decreased. Unloading a truck has a duration of 5 hours if two people are used as the resource. 
The effort in this case is 10 hours, or the total number of billable hours. The effort is not affected by the duration or the number of resources applied. If it's one person, the effort is 10 man hours. If it's two people, the effort is still 10 man hours, 5 hours times 2 people. In summary, when you are planning the schedule, you must determine what resources are needed to complete a project. You must also gather information needed to create a realistic schedule and ultimately a budget.